What is up guys, Chris here from Bear Market Mining. Uh, got an awesome video today for you guys if you're looking to boost your GPU and CPU mining profits. There's a new coin, well not so new coin, it's been around almost a year now called Warthog and it is absolutely blowing profitability of other coins out the building. So in today's video we'll have a look at how to mine it, um, where to mine it, how to set up wallets, things like that and uh, and also most importantly, how much profit it's making compared to all the other coins. Let's go. So with the most recent update of BZ Miner version 21.0.3, they have made new coin Warthog available uh, and supported on their miner. So you can now use that easily in Hive OS uh, and in Windows as well. Um, now they did, uh, Warthog did previously and still does have its own uh, minor, but not as straightforward to use as this. So definitely go for BZ Miner in my opinion if you're looking to get onto it. Uh, tons of information on there. Um, we won't read through everything. Um, you guys can go to the GitHub there and, and find out all the information you need. Um, was pretty interesting um, doing a quick read through. It does say, you know, performance will depend on many variables such as PCI generation, um, different risers, how many GPUs are currently participating, RAM speed. So not as straightforward as your standard uh, mining algorithms, but once you get your head around it, all fairly straightforward. Uh, it also says that using all available processes will have a negative impact, but this release does um, opt to use less automatically and you can set that yourself. So I thought that was pretty cool. It saves you having to do anything else. So over on the main Warthog page, what is Warthog? So it says it's an experimental cryptocurrency with the world's first proof of balance work. Now, in my understanding, what they're um, meaning by this is the, the use of both GPUs and CPUs uh, on the algorithm uh, simultaneously to create the sort of most efficient um, you know, way of finding solutions, things like that. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to all of this sort of stuff, so maybe someone down in the comments can let me know more specifically what that is, but it does go into it here on the white paper as well. So I did like a, a nice, nice simple layout on the page. I, I did note no pre-mine, which is really good. Um, so, you know, basically as soon as it was released is the first time it was able to be mined. There weren't people, you know, behind the scenes mining it um, before it got released to the public, which I, which I really like that honesty. No dev fund. Um, no team fees, things like that, 100% mineable, it's open source, and it's written from scratch, so it's not like the 15 different, uh, you know, forks of, of um, you know, we've got Pyron and all those sorts of ones, forks of Casper coming out everywhere. Got the roadmap on here as well. So jump on over, it's warthog.network. I'll leave all the links down in the description as well um, for you to have a look at all that. White paper here as well if you want to do a good read through and find out exactly you know what their plan is and, and and where they plan to go so where do you mine it so over here on uh, mining pool stats dot stream and there's only three known at the moment pools there might be more out there i'm not too sure but acc pool has got you know the large majority of the hash rate um then of course woolly pulley and uh, woolly pulley sorry and warp pool.io i'm on uh woollypooly.com uh, some people have you know mixed reviews about that i really like it easy to use um, simple interface, been using it for years with a number of different coins. So that's where I um, have gone and we'll show you how to do all that, uh, setting up your flight sheets and things like that. So how do we mine it? So we'll start with Windows first. If we go back over to the GitHub, um, BZ Miner's GitHub page and the latest version, you'll scroll right down the bottom. You'll go into uh, the windows.zip. So you'll download that. You will then extract that to a folder of your liking. I always like to go to desktop just to start. Um, sometimes Windows doesn't like different miners and you may also need to add an exception for that um, just to allow it so it doesn't think it's a virus or, or malware or something like that. Um, and once you've extracted that, you'll open it up and you will land here in the BZ miner file. So what you're gonna to need to do to set this up is you're gonna go down here into Warthog you're going to click show more options and edit. Um, so you'll go in here. It's pretty self-explanatory um, if you've done this before, but if you haven't over on the BZ Miner GitHub, they've got all the commands, all the information you could ever need for that. So jump on over there if you uh, if you need more information um, with all this sort of stuff. Um, you know, basically dash A is your algorithm, dash W is your wallet address, dash P is your pool. And then from over here, we start uh, with some overclocks 
um, Warthog CPU thread zero. So like I said um, previously, it will automatically use less threads. So you're not maxing that out. So I've just left that to zero. Don't want to touch that. And just added in some uh, very basic overclocks for my 3090 on here um, just to get it started. Now you can, if you're using different um, graphics cards as well, it says at the top, you know, um, set zero on all platforms you don't want to run. But I only have uh, a 3090 Nvidia in here, so I haven't actually changed that to zero and haven't had any issues. So once that um, you've entered all your information into there, you can close that. You want to right click on Warthog, run as administrator and open it up and it will start uh, hashing away. All right, so we can see it's auto calibrating itself. Uh, we found our first solution there. Now this is uh, this is your pool um, per hour, and this is your uh, you your Janu hash basically. So how much hash rate you're actually getting um, for the card? Now a few things to note that I would do if you're going to mine on Windows: um, download Core Temp. I'll leave a link for that as well. That's going to tell you how hot your CPU is running because this does use a lot of processing power and your CPU will get hot. Um, also MSI Afterburner for your graphics card. Um, so you can tweak fan temp, uh, fan speeds and things like that. But you can also do that um, in the .bat file with Warthog. You can set a fixed fan speed. So that's basically how, um, how you'll set it up. Look, we've already got a rejected chair. Uh, my overclocks, like I said, not great. I basically just uh, set it up and ran with it from there. Now this number up here, 12.79 uh, is my CPU score. Um, where is it? Right here, as opposed to my GPU score here. Now these two need to work together. This, I don't have a very good, I've just got an i7 in here. So uh, as you'll see on some of my other rigs on my 5900Xs, this score is much, much higher. So basically, the better the CPU you have, you, you'll want for this um, algorithm, you'll want a better CPU to GPU ratio. If you've got a great graphics card, but a really shitty CPU, it's going to be no good for you. You need a, you need a, a good CPU and uh, that will help even an average GPU. So there, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, everything's over on the GitHub um, if you need more information about overclocks, but you know where to find it. It's all pretty much uh, just plug and play these days. So let's jump on over to HiveOS and uh, we'll see how we set it up in there. All right, so we are over on in uh, HiveOS, I should say. First thing you're going to want to do, uh, actually, if we go back over to this page first, to the Warthog, a few different places um, that you can set up your own wallets if you want to use an exchange wallet or if you want to use their, uh, their core wallet, different ways to do that. All the information will be up here. I am using um, TradeOgre for full transparency. So basically what we'll want to do is we'll come into wallets. We'll click add wallet, click our coin. Wart is already there for Warthog. You'll enter your address, enter your name, Warthog. Then you'll click create. You'll slide on over to the right. Flight sheets, coin, Wart, wallet, uh, Warthog trade over, trade ogre, sorry. Now pool, um, you'll click configure in minor. And then you will select BZ Miner and go in and set up the config. Um, so always the same, um, pretty similar. Now that uh, it's using it's it's on BZ Miner as opposed to uh, its previous miner, I can't remember the name um, of it. It escapes me at the moment. Um, but you'll enter in your wallet, your worker name, your pass, and your pool URL if you're using Wooly Pooly. We'll have a look at uh, one of these other flight sheets I've previously set up just so you can see it. So that's the pool. That's the auto pool for Wooly Pooly. I've set some very basic overclocks again, still figuring out exactly um, how to overclock this thing. I, I do know that it's more core intensive than memory. I've found that setting your memory higher or lower has very little um, significance on your overall hash score. But like I said, maybe someone else who's uh, who's been on it a little longer can, can educate me on that down in the comments. I'm sure they will have no problem telling me if I've uh, if I've made a mistake here. So that will be it. Click apply changes, go into your uh, your farm, apply the flight sheet and we're away and mining. So I've got a 4070 in here. 
um, a 3070 and two 3060s. I have a mixed rig, so I've basically just pulled those uh, those cards off. So now I'm left with five 3070s only on that other last mixed rig, and uh, just thought I'd throw them into here now. As I said, still tweaking hash rates. This um, wattage right here is your GPU wattage. So um, that won't include your CPU and your fan. Um, I've got um, some pretty beefy fans on these because this was my CPU farm originally on Zephyr, then on Cubic, and now on uh, Warthog because it's just absolutely blowing everything else out the building. So let's, uh, let's have a look at how this equates to dollars. So over on trustyhashrate.no on the GPU calculator, you can see we've got our four graphics cards there, the 4070, 3070, and two 3060s. Most profitable coin is Xano right now, making a $1.59 profit after electricity. That's on the ProgPower-Z algorithm. And same thing we did for the CPUs. We've got a 5600G, the two 5900Xs, and a 3900X, and that is making 91 cents on versus coin or versus hash, which is actually beating Zephyr at the moment. Zephyr's had a little bit of a tank lately, but I'm sure that will pump back up. Now to see how this compares with our profits on uh, Warthog, we can go over to the mining calculator, which I'll link in the description. We enter in our 1.6 giga hash here, and that gives us $11.01 in revenue uh, USD. So. We'll take that number and we'll uh, we'll take the electricity out of it over on the next page and we'll see how uh, these all compare uh, previously to uh, to Warthog. So we can see on the left we've got our GPU's current profitability. Those four GPUs, which is Xano, 108 mega hash. It's making a dollar 61 profit after electricity. Um, so the CPU's 91 cents um, after electricity. My rate is about 0.13 uh, cents, 13 cents USD. So I've just kept it all in USD. Um, for the ease of use, that comes to uh, $2.52. Now on Warthog, the GPU and CPU current revenue before electricity um, was 1,622 mega hash um, or 1.6 giga hash we put in there, which gave us uh, just over $11 USD. Now. I'll insert a screenshot um, here of my power consumption. It's about 740 watts, um, I think, which works out to 18.43 kilowatts per day at 13 cents, which means I'm uh, pulling or using uh, $2.39 worth of electricity, which brings our actual profit down, uh, down to $8.62 uh, mining Warthog compared to $2.52. So that's like a three and a half times a uh, three and a half X on profit um, compared to mining the other coins. So really, really, really good, really profitable. Hopefully, I mean, I have seen there's been a, a few rumblings. I know another, a few other content creators have been talking about it recently and I'm sure we'll be making videos soon. So let's hope that this helps the network and uh, doesn't dump profits into the ground. And if it does, I'm sorry. Uh, and remember, I'll be the one hurting as well. So yeah, but looking really, really nice at the moment. Um, you know, especially for those CPU rigs now, you know, this, uh, this 5600 G was, was great for, for cubic, um, as a budget little rig. Um, but well, I won't say great. It was decent for the price that I paid for it, but because it is a lower end CPU, you can see the hash rates are just not even close. Um, and I think I've got a 3060 on there and on my 3900 X, I have another 3060. So you can see the difference in hash rate. Uh, obviously a much better CPU, the 3900X, twice as many threads. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys, that will cover it. Just wanted to do a quick little video for you guys, bit of a how-to um, for people who are who are interested in sort of juicing their profits a little bit. And if you have any uh, questions, uh, make sure you jump in the Discord. We've got a dedicated channel there to Warthog. Um, and there's a few people in there with much bigger brains than me that can help answer any of your questions. Um, so that'll wrap it guys. If you liked it, make sure you like it. Hit the hit the subscribe, the like button. Peace.